Hi, I'm Lily Keyes, celebrity makeup artist, and welcome back to another series of Wedding Bells. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this gorgeous, beautiful, bronzed, glowing, beachy bridal look. Right, so I've prepped and primed the skin, and I'm going to start on the foundation now. I'm going to be using Chanel in number 30, Lift Lumiere and my MAC brush. I always put the foundation on my hand just so I know what kind of coverage that I want to get rather than just putting straight on the brush. I'm going to dab my brush in it and just apply the foundation from the centre of the face outwards. This is a beachy look so I don't want too much of a heavy coverage on the face. We want it to look really natural. And if you need extra coverage, we can always go over that with concealer. So next we're going to start on the concealer, and I'm going to be using my Sisley Under Eye Concealer in number two, and my Bobbi Brown Concealer Brush. This concealer is really good because it's not, it's not super liquidy. It almost dries to a sort of matte finish, like a powdery finish. I usually apply this like in a triangle shape, not right up to the eye, because it's always nice to have a bit of natural definition around the eye. So next I'm going to be using a concealer for blemishes, and I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover in 5. This is another really, really great concealer. It's probably one of my favourite ones, because a little goes a long way, and it's got really good coverage. Now, we don't have a lot of blemishes on the face. We don't have any, actually, but... It's just nice to kind of even out the skin tone. Usually put it around the nose where you tend to get a bit red. And in between the brows. I'm using my fluffy brush from MAC with this as well. So next I'm going to be using powder and I'm going to be using my Prep and Prime Translucent Powder from MAC with my Ruby and Millie powder brush. So I'm just using powder now to set the makeup, just sweeping it over the face concentrating around the T-zone. If you're on a beach, especially, or a hot day and you're getting married, you don't want to be hot and sweating. I'm going to be using the Soft Meow from MAC, which is a really pretty bronzer. It's got a very, very slight shimmer in it as well. Just going to be concentrating this colour under the cheekbones. With my bigger bronzer, I'm going to be going all over the face, but this is really to bring the cheekbones out. Okay, so next I'm going to be using a MAC bronzer. It's a limited edition in a really cute little case. It's called Solar Riche, and it's this colour here. It's got a very slight shimmer to it. It's quite red, so just be careful with how much you put on your face. As I always say, just put the colour on your wrist or just kind of like dab it off before so you don't make a mistake. So what I'm doing is putting it under the cheekbones again, around the temples, across the forehead, under the chin, and slightly on the nose. So I'm going on my third bronzer now. I'm going to be using a Bobbi Brown one called Barley Brown. This has got quite a high shimmer to it, so I'm really going to be concentrating this on the cheekbones. I'm going to be using my slightly smaller brush as well. So just up here, not too much on top of the cheekbone. I'm still trying to be slightly underneath it because I'm going to be using highlighter on the cheekbone. So now with my smaller brush, I'm going to be taking my MAC Golden Bronze Pigment to really apply some highlighter on the cheekbone. Now this is really highly pigmented, so really do be careful and tap it off. I'm just going to actually test it. It really brings out the most beautiful shine, which I'm not sure if you can see just yet, but. When Tamarin's cheekbones hit the light, you'll really see it. This is such a great product for beachy makeup, and you can also apply this on your shoulders and collarbones as well. I'm now going to be using a different shimmer. It's called Dancing Light, also by MAC, also in a powder form. Same system where we just tap it away to make sure not too much product is going to come out. And this is a much lighter shimmer, so it's really to kind of go on top. What we're really doing is layering all the, all the colours here. It's just giving like a three-dimensional sort of glowing skin. I'm also going to put this around the nose 
and above the lip line. And slightly above the brows here. So to finish off the skin, I'm now going to be applying the blusher to the apples of the cheeks. I'm going to be using two colours this time, Immortal Flower in MAC, which is like a matte coral colour, and then Warm Soul in MAC, which is almost like a dusky pink colour with a, with a bit of a shimmer in it as well. I'm going to be taking my blusher brush, just patting it in between the two colours and just applying it on the apples of the cheeks. It just brings a bit of warmth on the face. So moving on to the eyes, I'm now going to be using my trusty waterproof mascara. I always recommend waterproof mascara for weddings. If you're a bride, bridesmaid or guest, it's a really good idea. So I'm going to be using this one by Topshop to the top and bottom lashes. So how I apply mascara is I just really wiggle it into the roots and then fan it out. You want to get really nice and dark just to the roots. If you do make a mistake and the mascara goes anywhere, you can use a cotton bud just to take it off. So with this look, it's not too dramatic, but we do want to define the eyes at the same time. So I have used a pretty black mascara, which is, um, I mean, it is lengthening and thickening as well as waterproof, but we don't want it to look too clumpy. So if you find you have any clumps, it's always a good idea to get a disposable mascara wand and just run it through. Okay, so next I'm going to be using cream shadows for the eyelid colour. This look, I think, is all about ease of use if you're on a beach, getting married. I'm going to be using this colour, Bamboo, which is a MAC paint pot. And we're going to be using this on the eye with my cream brush from Bobbi Brown. So I'm just going to be taking this colour all along the lid, almost like a wash of colour, so you don't need to really worry about precision for this look. I'm now going to be using a darker colour, also in a paint pot by MAC. It's called Deer Shadow. So we're going to be using this colour again with my cream shadow brush, but we're going to be using this just along the lash line. This is just for a bit of definition. So I'm just bringing this colour along the lash line and blending it into the other colour. Because they're cream shadows, it's really easy to use your fingertips using this product as well. So I'm just using my fingertip just kind of blend it out just to show you if you don't have a cream shadow brush. I'm going to take my fluffy brush from MAC and just dab a tiny bit of pigment on the brush and I'm going to put it in the middle of the eyelid. Just close your eyes. And just to bring out that golden bronze and make the eyes really pop. Okay, so next I'm going to be putting eyeliner underneath the eyes just to give it a bit of definition. I'm going to be using this bronzy brown eyeliner called Costa Riche from MAC. And then with a the cotton bud, I'm just going to smudge it up to the lash line so it's really natural. Okay, so I'm going to be moving on to the lips next and I'm going to be using this amazing highlighter pen from Benefit for the lips. It's called Cupid's Bow. I'm just going to be using it just on the Cupid's Bow like it says. This really just makes the lips appear fuller. Gives a bit of a highlight. i put it slightly underneath as well. And then because this look is so beachy and natural, I'm going to be leaving the lips really natural. Just going to be using my trusty Vaseline with my lip brush and just applying some on the lips. Using Vaseline is also really low maintenance for the lips. You don't have to worry about reapplying colour all the time. And just to make sure the brows are perfect, we haven't actually filled them in this time, which is usually one of my favourite things to do, but I really wanted to keep the brows super natural. I still like to make them perfect though, so I'm using my clear mascara wand from Collection. So here you have it, the completed look for today. If you guys love this look, please give this video a big thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to Video Jug Beauty on YouTube. I'll be back next week with another bridal look for you guys. See you then. Bye darlings.